are back. Fuel Up Podcast. Episode 39. We almost yeah. got it wrong. Yeah. We had to yeah. check this time. <laughs> we had to check. Like 30 seconds ago, we were like, is it 40 or is it 39? We're not even sure. But like, no, it's 39. It's 39. 40 will be next week. 40 is next week. Milestone. Yeah. We're, we might do something special. I'm done. Might uh, a little different uh, segment. We'll see. Hopefully soon. Maybe we'll do it outside. Hopefully soon we could have <laughs> outside. <laughs> you know, I was always thinking about it because I have a pretty big uh, balcony. balcony. I was like, we should always do that. Wind? But the wind. Yeah. These people, these poor people in here. Yeah, that's guaranteed. it the whole time. Uh, the whole time. Like, like a morning today, I don't think so, though. Because just a be bit okay. of wind. Because look at like my mic. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like yours. It's yours is completely, you know, covered. Covered, yeah. If we had like, you know, the, what's it called? The SM75 uh, uh, or whatever. SMH, SM, whatever it's whatever, called. Yeah. Yeah. SMB. Yeah. They'd probably be a lot better, but still. Yo, it gets windy up here. I'm sure. Especially on the it top gets floor. Windy, yeah. It's all open there. Oof. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. It's, it gets windy. But maybe we'll do something. I don't know. Hopefully we have. Uh, I'm dying to have guests soon, man. I find like it's uh, done. It's different without them. It was always. Uh, Papa Le- well, Papa Lego is our prime minister here in Quebec, and uh, yeah, well, he's preventing us. Apparently, everything is gonna be uh, opening soon. Yeah, for Saint Jean, of course. Of course. Not for not for Christmas. Not <laughs> for Easter. Easter. Saint Jean. Saint Jean. Saint Jean Baptiste is very important. <laughs> when you know what I do, Saint Jean. Open for a weekend. Everybody does Saint Jean. <laughs> The Everyone's going to go to closed. Centre Nature, everyone's going to get all infected, and then, <laughs> oh shit, the, the, the cases went up. They have gone up. <laughs> okay, part. enough COVID talk for this nah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a... Literally 38 seconds. It's like a 40 second segment every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, we just bitch about it, and then after we stop. So, like, actually, a lot of news happened this week. Yep, yep, um, yep, yep. A couple of announcements. Uh, we'll hit the EV talk, I guess, first. And yeah, we've uh, been hitting that EV talk lately. Well, that's all there is. There's I know, no, there, there's, there's no... Well, let, First of all, already COVID sold down everything. Yeah. I spoke to, actually, an interesting fact. Yeah. I went to go do my tires this weekend. Yeah. So I was talking to our, our guy there, um, Ludo, and I asked him because I have a couple of my clients yeah. that are asking me, saying, yo, you, you worked in the tire business, yeah. you know, are your friends or your ex ball, you know, whatever, are they getting their stuff late? And I was like, you know what? I didn't Let speak to anybody yeah. about this and no one said anything to me. So I go, I, go, I guess not. They saw he had, he got his Altenzels, you know, I know he saw he got those tires. But uh, I'm like, let me ask him. So I went there yesterday. I asked him, and he said he's still waiting for a container for Alpenzo tires. Yeah. Um, he's getting it in the next month. Dude, look where we are now. You know what I mean? The rush is now. You yeah, know about it. You know, well, it like first of all, ago, it, started, it started early. Dude. Yeah, like when we see a rush, ago. sorry, we're in the business tires rush. I mean, yeah. the tire season. Because here in Quebec, we got to swap, swap tires. Swap every time, yeah. Winter to summer, winter to summer. So there's always a rush period. But it started Summer very, to winter, winter to summer. Yeah. It started very early. That's the thing. Yeah, I find it's yeah, like usually kind of it's like they wait a bit, they wait a bit, and boom, you get. Usually slapped. they wait till now. But I this think this time it happened the end of March because it was nice. Everyone with COVID just wants to get out, so yeah. they're like, "Okay, I'm just gonna go do my tires you know, and whatever." Yeah. So I think it's gonna be like a prolonged one. But anyways, he still didn't get all his tires. Toyo has nothing apparently. He said, "Yoko too." Like those guys that really come from like the Asian yeah. areas. He Asian goes, markets. Really, nothing. nothing, man. He go, what did he tell me? Man, I don't want to tell. I don't want to see the wrong size, but I'm guessing it was like a size of 195, 65. You know, like, like a, common a, a size. common size. He's like, I already have none left, and it's what three weeks they're in. Wow, in the rush. Imagine. Wow. So all these guys that they rely on that, they must have gotten belt or like, they, they had to tell their clients, look, we'll I'm getting it in a month, and they're probably like, oh, I'm not gonna wait, and you go somewhere else. Another guy's like, I'm getting it in a month, and I'm getting it in a month. Yeah, everybody but, gives you the same answer. Well. I'm sure if the guy can get it to you today, he'll get it to you today. Trust me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Especially sale. especially him. You know how he is. Yeah. So, I don't know. But crazy. They're still waiting for tires. A lot of stuff is back, uh, backdated, backordered. Well, think of it. He gets those, like, let's say that the tires, the, the economical tires, yeah. which is 80% of the market because no one else really buys high-end performance Nobody tires here, money, first yeah. of all. It's pushed back a month just because of that, because it's all coming from there, too. And then after when it lands here, they got to wait a bit. Yeah. Then the it port, disinfect. customs. They do all kinds of shit, eh? Even us. All my stuff, too. Breaks. All kinds of stuff. Like the economical stuff. Yeah. Like not the not the high-end stuff that's coming from Germany and Italy and stuff like that. Still delayed. But the... It, the the common... Stuff, wow. Co- the regular stuff. The stuff that I'm like, what stuff. the hell? I'd have this in stock. Like 100 in stock. Usually I had none. That's crazy. And then I look, and they're stuck in Vancouver. We have like 700. It's crazy. Interesting. It's crazy. Oh. 
Oh, I, I mean, like, my up. hair. Good. I didn't even. Uh, you're I just, good. You're good. I just put the cameras <laughs> on me. I was like, shit. I, don't, I wake up in the morning. It's nice. My hair is straight up. <laughs> it's good. I got, it's I got, good. I got a haircut from, from Michael yesterday. That's why Russell would. Uh, be <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> so <laughs> there was a new EV car that was announced this week. Uh, well, new. It's been in the works, but it did uh, like the full I've release. I've been seeing it coming up. But now, yeah, yeah like the full said, release was uh, this was this week. Yo, yeah. nice car, though. Beautiful. Nice car. It is a Mercedes Benz. It's the EQS. That's why I said nice car, and I like yeah. that. <laughs> it's the EQS. Uh, there's two models, the 450 and the 580. Okay, so EQS yeah. is S class. Yeah. And it's EQ, so. Electric. Yeah. So it's an ele- a fully electric. Fully electric, S-class. no gas motor. And they look a bit different, too. Eh? It does look a little bit different. And that's always, that was my thing with the look. I'm not too. I'm not a big fan of the look. I find it looks too much like a. Uh, kind of looks like a mix with a Tesla, with like a CLS, with a shape like very, mm-hmm. like it's melon arc, style. Arc, yeah, uh, an arc, an arc exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Am I, I a feel big, like big, it's big fan of it. It's like an E7 almost. Yeah, CLS. Almost like an E7. Yeah, like oh, a, CLS. You're right. Yeah, exactly. CLS. Like a coupe style. It's nice, but what really is like the killer is the inside. It's beautiful. With, uh, with like the it's like three massive the screens. The yeah, side. the inside is But ridiculous. is that the same three or two screens from the other ones? Uh, so same system, MBUX. So the middle one is like the main display. So what's MBUX? Uh, Mercedes-Benz user experience. Okay, it's just the, that whole... Uh, yeah. Okay, the whole interface. The one like the... Um, the Julie, yeah. Yeah. And but then... It, that's the whole interface that's called that. Yeah. Okay, so it's exactly. like iDrive or uh, whatever, yep. MMI, whatever yep. you yep. call it. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so the one in front of the driver is like the, the speedometer and everything, just like the ones there is now. The one in the middle is like the main comfort. display. And, and the, then... The other one's comfort? Which comfort? Like uh, comfort the one module, in the passenger I'm saying. Seat? Yeah, yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. No, the one in the passenger seat uh, gives you the same control as the one in the middle. So like you can change the radio, you can change the lighting, you can change the navigation. Mm-hmm. It's just for the passenger to have... That's cool. Something to do, I guess. I don't know. And where is it? I didn't even see the third one. It's like in where the, let's say, where the airbag would be. be. Yeah. Where the airbag would be. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool, though. It's smart. That, That's cool. I don't know what they waited for that so long for the passenger to be able to control a radio. Well, now. And Navi. They do it in the back. So, like, if oh, you yeah. get the, uh, well, um, the infotainment screen. Only S class. And, and GLEs. And GLSs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you get the screens in the back. even bad the, for the kids, though. Yeah. Jeez. Exactly. Yeah, they'll play with it for sure. Like, the. The GT63, the four door. Yeah. If you get the rear entertainment oh, option, I love that you car. have it. Yeah, you I have love all that, that car, man. Well, this car reminisces a bit of that one too. Actually, it's bringing that car up. True. The same shape. The same shape. Yeah. I, yo, that car, man. Yeah. Every time I see one, I'm always like, I stop and I'm like, oh. it's a beast. Because it's like the They're CLS. I like this. I like CLSs, and they stopped. Huh? CLS doesn't exist no more. Uh, it exists. 53 and 450. But it's a CLS 53. Yeah. There's no CLS, CLS regular, right? Yeah, there is 450. Really? Yeah, they're rare though. Nobody bought them. I've never like I've never seen a new they're model. Rare. Like the last one I've seen is you know the one with the lights that were like, uh, like this. You know what I'm talking about? The lights in the front look like a U almost. Were you able to get with the C63, the CLS 63? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The one. The one I- that um, my girlfriend's cousin's friend had. He said he bought it off you guys at Silver Star. It was black on black. I remember. That's like the last one I seen. You know, it has like little LEDs just like that. Yeah, they're made like this. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the same body. No, that's the old one. Okay. There is. I haven't one. seen after that. I'll show you. I've never seen one. I'll, show, one I'll show you. How many did you guys sell? Let's say. Not many. Shit. They're hard to sell. Why? Because they're not practical. What's price range with an E7. More expensive. Well, lot, depends. Like a no, lot more. If you get a CLS 450. I'm saying regular, not the 63. Yeah, the, four, the 450, like under 100k. 90. Mercedes-Benz is always more expensive than Audi. That's for sure. It's not normal, that. I don't know why they do that. It's always more expensive. Why? The name. Superior. <laughs> Superior! <laughs> oh my god. Let me no, see, <laughs> see the waves over here, bro. <laughs> the way it's a square. There's not no, even waves. For real. Because. The A7 is killer card. Don't get me wrong. I actually, Yo, especially like, the even new R7. One? Yeah, they, they murdered wow, it. But the new one, man. What the hell? Like, if you compare A6 to E Class, uh, uh, A8 to S Class, Mercedes is always more expensive. Yeah, th- but no matter what, but the even C Class. I think with the CLS. It's the same price as an E-Class, right? Okay. It does look a lot cooler than an E-Class. It's not more expensive than an E-Class. It's about the same price. Okay. Uh, Maybe a little couple dollars Yeah, like... Nothing crazy, though. The problem is that you you look at an E-Class and you look at a CLS and you're like, okay, the CLS looks cooler, right? Same engines, same interior. Just that the CLS has the sloping roofline and the the frameless windows. Yeah. Unpractical. 
Depends. And the people who are going to buy a CLS are mostly E-Class clients. Is it really a low roof yeah, line? That's why you're saying low. that. Because very I find low. the A7, I never, we never had an issue with that car. Like my CLS dad had the A7. lower roof line than We used to sit in the back and I uh, A7, problem. sorry. Crazy. Yeah, it's very low. And I find the new A7 is almost exactly the same as the old one. It's not like trimmed more or anything like that. It, it looks just as high. the same high. look. It's, I, th- I find that, not the look, but I'm saying that slide, the way they arched it is perfect because you really have no, uh, your head space is there, everything's there. I love A7s, RS7s, CLS, like I love that style of car, but if you're comparing price to price and you tell me CLS 63 or E63, I'm taking E63. And that's the, the choice that people have and that's why the CLS isn't. I think so. I would go E63 also. And I'm not even like that Mercedes diehard fan. And I think everybody knows E63. E53 or e- CLS 53? E-class is, is... You would take E-class. An E-class is an E-class. And that's why the CLS is kind of stuck. I guess it's like BMW with 5 Series. It's like, you know, it's just like they're... Yeah, the 5 Series. It's a good car. Like, it's, they've been around forever and they've been challenging each other uh, Mercedes. 6 Series Grand Coupe. How many did they sell of them? True. Never. True. You'd rather buy the 5 Series. 100%. 100%. And that's yeah. basically what it is. 100%. It's true, eh? You see a lot more M550s yeah. than you do 650s. Yep. 652 door, you see all kinds. My, my uncle has a but 652 door. 654 door, Grand Coupe. They're nice cars. I've never seen them because you sit inside of them and you're like, am I really going to spend 120, 130K on a car that I, I barely fit inside? Yeah. The, the look is insane. It but nice. the trunk is small. It's good if you're just two people. It's not, yeah. it's not a car made Four for people, or, or a like family. Four people once in a while, you know? It's not made for. Uh, so that's where. Right, yeah. That's where it stands. That's why. Probably. That's where it stands. Probably that's why. That's where it stands. A guy has an option to buy a four door. He's gonna say, you know what? I want the I'll buy the real space. four door. Yeah. I'll pay almost the same price, or even maybe a bit cheaper, like you said. And he'll have space. Yeah. You know, you have space for the kids. Yep. You have space for anybody. You have space for any, any class. You have space. Because if you're gonna want, if you're gonna buy a car for two person, you're gonna buy a coupe. For sure. You're so just gonna say whatever. You'll buy I'll just the E class yeah. coupe, or you'll or, buy yeah, the six series coupe, or you'll buy the S class coupe. Yeah. Or you'll buy the um, uh, A5. Anything, yeah, anything, coupe. yeah, anything. Coupe. How does it make anything big coupe? A uh, big coupe, no, no it's A5. The, it's the biggest coupe. A5 is the biggest yeah. coupe. They don't but make A6 They're coupe. talking about making uh, something big like an a Grand Tour. That'll be their two door. Yeah, that'll be sick. That'll be sick. Oh well, yeah, and I saw pictures. It's like an S7, an A7, but like Co- two door, two door, or but or they even have like an option of making it like uh, they were. It's in the talks, right? So they were saying even also making it like just a longer wheelbase car, yeah. like a like an eight series. Oof. Another thing, you buy That's an eight sicker. series, That's sicker. right? Yeah. Eight fifty Grand Coupe. Yeah, it's still small, but a lot bigger than a six coupe for sure. And the price difference is not that much. No, yeah, true. Eight fifty coupe. I think you're like a one seventy. About a six fifty coupe. You're probably like one forty. Yeah. If you could spend 140, there's a good chance that you could shut yourself to 170 if you really want that car. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. So, true. or you could just take a, a 840. Yeah. Or true. 845, whatever the model yeah, number yeah. is. Okay, so get back to this car. What yeah. is so special about it? Why is it? Uh, why did it make such a big so, impact this week? Because it's the first the electric car that's going to be available for Mercedes Benz. Right. It's fully electric. There's fully no electric. hybrid. There's no nothing, guys. It's literally it's so just, a it's like a Tesla. Yeah, there's a 450 model and there's a 580 model. 450 will be a two-wheel drive. So rear-wheel drive. Okay. 580 is going to be all-wheel drive. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the 450 max range is about 300 to 400 miles. Not bad. Not bad. Perfect conditions, obviously. And the 580, they're, they're saying it should reach five to 600 miles. Okay, so it's got another battery? Bigger battery. Be- just bigger, not another one. On which one? The 580? Yeah. Yeah, it's bigger. Okay. More powerful. Ah. So all-wheel drive and more powerful. Yes. 500 Shit. miles is 800 kilometers. You think people are going to buy this two-wheel drive one? Here I'm saying. No, like, where never. No, uh. They won't even bring it here, I think. Oh, shit. Okay. They won't make it available here. So they'll make it In European. Florida or like uh, LA, Ooh. they're going to be everywhere. That's beautiful. Well, look at it like this. Like So, so the S-Class... Uh, here you can't buy it, but in Europe or in America you could buy S five hundred, which is a two wheel drive. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know that. Here you can only buy a five sixty yeah. or five eighty. Yeah, yeah. Now they're for Maddox. Yeah, they're all for Maddox. For Maddox. Yeah. But you were able to buy two wheel drives here a long time ago. Four fifties. Oh, the old old body. Yes, the short wheelbase uh, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know th- they don't sell here because nobody wants two wheel drive. No, what are you gonna do with that? Especially that car. Oh my god. Yeah. Swing so everywhere. It's gonna be um, in Florida, whatever, LA, in America. The two wheel drive is gonna sell very well. For but sure. Here, anywhere it's hot. Yeah. Only gonna be the 580, which Makes is sense. gonna be available. 
and that's going to be uh, the bread and butter. I don't know the price yet, but apparently it's going to be very expensive. This is the thing. You're looking at over 100K. But this is the thing. Like yesterday I saw the Audi e tron the yeah. truck there. Super nice cars. 100,000 bucks. Yeah, but that's it. How are people going to afford these cars? The leasing is going to be all uh, all reversed. Do you know what the lease payment is on an e-tron? 1,000. 1,000 bucks tax in. On a $100,000 car? That's cheap, yeah. Well, not cheap, but... It's because they get kickbacks and shit from the government. Yeah, and residuals and everything they play with. Don't you get like, uh, how much do you get back from the government? Okay, so there's a catch on this. And this apparently they're stopping it after this year because pe- sure, people actually. are using it. People are going, sending it to because Ottawa, that, bringing it back and putting it under someone else's name and claiming. That I don't know, but there's a catch to this because it, it's only up to a certain amount of... Sorry about that. It's only up to a certain amount of uh, dollars, meaning that like... The car can only be up to a certain price point. After that, you don't, it's not uh, eligible. So, for example, this is going to be 150 whatever, not eligible. I knew it, right? Prius is like eligible. what? Eligible. 50K, mm. whatever it is, eligible. Golfy. Uh, Chevy yeah. Bolt, eligible. All those stupid uh, like whatever. The only car I'd get like that would be the Golfy, honestly. If I had yeah, it. Yeah, or like, Tesla Model 3 is eligible too. Yeah. At 40K. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's his name at? Uh, 45K. Even at uh, where I went this weekend there, he has one. He, that's what he was telling me. That's what I was saying. It but makes it worth it, right? But they give you how much back? You know, like uh, five to ten k. It's like I'm pretty sure it's like it's a ten thousand. Pretty big money. Like it's, it's a big, it's a big dif- yeah. Ma- so it makes it worth it buying it, right? Yeah. But we're gonna see how it is when it when you don't get these incentives. Well, that's what I'm saying. So well, then we'll see. But, but the cars are expensive. Eventually, it's gonna stop. All these cars, are, I find all these electric cars. Let's say you want a nice one. Like I'm sorry, a Volt and a Bolt, whatever the hell they're no, called. No, it's not nice. Is disgusting inside. Yeah, well, like it's not made for that. I you know. Want e-tron, you want a Tesla S, the good one, P100D is 140,000. Okay, yeah, P100D. Even but a, you P1- get a, a P90 or whatever. Even 100D, it's still 80, 90 thousand dollars. I'm sorry, 80, 90 thousand dollars. I know it's electric. I'd get an E63, two years old. 100. <laughs> like yeah. there's n- there's nothing stopping me. Like there's nothing in my, in my mind or anything that's gonna happen in this world that's gonna tell me 90k on a Tesla. 90k on an E63. Yeah, I know, 100%. like one's electric, one's gas. But still, it, is, it does not add up to me. It does not add up because you get into these cars, and there's nothing in them. I know, but that's that's where it's going. I don't like that. That's what it's going to be. So get used to. It. You get inside the Mercedes thing of the year. The seats are Mercedes. And a Tesla you're talking about? Yeah. Then after the buttons are cheap. This is cheap. You're like what the hell? It's a big brack car. I don't know, no, but man. The, they're too trying expensive, to expensive, I yeah, find. Because it costs too much money to make those parts. It's yeah, cheaper to buy it off someone. I know, but they're saying, right, that they want to make everyone on electric. How is everyone going to afford these electric cars? They're gonna, Already we were talking about it right in the other episodes. You, Check out our other episodes, guys, with EV, <laughs> EV Talk. EV Talk. And we always say, like, how the hell are they going to make everyone have, like, a plug in each house? You know, how are people going to afford that type it's of It's going to happen. But how? But the gonna, cars are $100,000 each. Let's say me, okay? Let's say me. They're going to force you to lease them. And they're going to force you every oh, four the years. going to be really worth it. Yes. And they're going to okay. force... This is what exactly what's going to pan out. Okay. And this is my assumption, which I'm pretty sure I'm right. Write this shit down, boys. They're going to for- not force you, but they're going to make it seem or they're going to market it in a way that you could get into an electric car for X amount of money, right? Mm-hmm. And the cars were 100000 or whatever it is, but you could get into it for like 1000 bucks a month. Instead of 1005 it's 1000 bucks. let's yeah. say. So you're like, Whoa. Comparing it to a gas car, right? Okay. But they're going to get you on that loop where every four years, you have to get a new one. Mm-hmm. And then what does this do? Makes the, the the company more money and it forces you to buy a new one every four years. But uh, always uh, keeping uh, that cheaper payment, that's how, how people are going to be able to afford them. How do you that already though? They're good for that. Well, looking at the e-tron, a car $100,000 on a lease is never a thousand bucks. And I'm talking from experience here. It's always about it's 15, 16, exactly. so $1,700. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. Right? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So you're undercutting a, a gas car by $700. A month times 48, yeah, do the math. Sure. Yeah, for sure. It's insane, right? But, but, but in four years, you have to buy the car, yeah, you have to get a new one. That's it. Because buying that car back is not going to be worth it no, 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 because no. the buyback is going to be too you think high. That, do you think the used car market is going to be worth it for that? I think there, there will be no used car market for electric for cars. cars huh? me, me too. I think they get scrapped after the battery just gets taken out and everything. There might be a little market, but I feel like no one's going to buy used electric cars because it's not going to be worth it. Okay, but let's say. Your people that are in the mid range. I'm not talking about supercars. Take supercars yeah. out. I'm talking about let's say what's mid range, sixty k. No, I'm saying let's say okay, high range is guys that are buying 
cars are like a hundred plus. Mm-hmm. So seven series, that's classic. Yeah. Okay. Usually CLS's, older men, right? E classes, yeah. Men, right? Yeah. So that a hundred k. I'd say medium is about 60, 75. Yeah. Like uh, S4, S3, yeah. uh, C60. 440s, yeah, yeah. C43, yeah. yeah. C43. 43, 63, well, C63, C63 is about 100. a bit, yeah, it's a, yeah. like just passes it, but I'm saying, right? So I'd consider myself. The average. And then after, there's what? There's the low end, which is like golf. All these A class, A class, uh, A3, A3, base model uh, A4, one series, C300s, two series, right? Yeah. So. CLAs. Yeah. Or even you go even cheap, like Chevrolet, like small Chevrolets, yeah. small, you know, whatever. The people that are in the middle get a bit screwed here. There's nothing that's going to be in the middle. For because right now, the no. cars that For are in right the middle, now, no. I know, but I'm saying the cars that are in the middle are going to be what? 20K more? But you're saying then after they're going to bounce it out with the leasing, right? What do you mean 20K more? I don't understand. Let's say they make an S4, let's just say. Yeah. An S4. Yeah. Um, electric. All electric. Comparing it to a gas car, you're talking yeah, about, yeah, it's gonna be so much more expensive. Yeah, it always is. But it's gonna, but it's gonna be Balanced adjusted. With, man, what if you want to? The used car market's gonna get the drilled. Road. I think. For now, I still, I still feel now, the middle people until, get screwed. Until, until, until more models come out and they're able to like make that 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 step right. Because if you look, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I'll use BMW the, as the, an example. The, basically, the the to, to, the ladder to, to switch. Yeah, exactly, and switch over. Because right now you have either the cheapest electric car. Let's say Chevy Bolt, Prius, yeah, uh, the, the Leaf, lower end. yeah, all those like no, Micras. Yeah, like. exactly. Like all the lower end, or you have then you have maybe Model Three in the middle. What else is there at that price point? Golfs are pretty well priced. E Golf, yeah. yeah. Or Model you have three, super yeah. expensive, right? So you have E Tron GT, you have EQS now, you have the E Tron truck. You have the Model S, you have the Model X, mm-hmm. you have all these things, yeah, yeah, right? It's, it's usually the jump, like it's yeah. Or you have the mid range, the Model T. Also, yeah. okay. So, until they don't fill up those gaps in the in between. How much is the Mustang? The Mustang. Maki. Yeah. On a payment, I think like nine hundred bucks. So pretty, uh, pretty, pretty up expensive. Too. See, you would think that would be in the middle. Yeah, nine hundred bucks. So I feel these people that buy like that are already in the higher range that yeah. lease, they're gonna go for these electric cars. Yeah, of no course. No problem. They're be like, well, I'm paying you the same price. It's the same price. I mean, like the car as a, a gas, like you were saying, yeah, a gas and one. It cost me anything and it's gonna fuel. cost me five hundred bucks less a month, and I don't have to pay fuel. I'll put up my machine over there for five hundred bucks that I just saved yeah, off my first it's payment. One shot, yeah. And they're probably gonna give you grants for that. The government. For now, yeah, maybe. And that's how it's gonna work. Shit. For sure. That's how they're gonna swap over. And then what they're gonna do to grab people in that really can't afford. So let's say, for example, they make. Um, I don't know. I'll use BMW as an example. They make a three series electric, right? Okay. You know how now they have the remember the remember in like uh 20, um 13, 14, 15, 16, they had 335, mm-hmm. 340, yeah, 340, yeah, and then they made 330, yeah, okay, instead of 328, yeah. And then what did they come in to kill the four door sedan market? 320s, 320s. Yeah. So what happened now? All the people that were buying. Um, golfs, all the people that were buying uh, Honda Accords, all the people that were buying yeah, like uh, TLXs, uh, IQs, the whatever, ones right under it there, like right those there. Those four hundred dollar payments. Yeah, exactly. What did they do? Oh, I could buy a BMW. Twenty bucks more a month. Whatever. And I could be driving a BMW, right? No okay. Sunroof, no this, no that. Oh, some of them had whatever, oh, but like I hate the three twenty. You had like the super base one, right, with a small little four cylinder, but people don't small care wheels. about yeah, the yeah, engine. Yeah. They care about turbo. that they're driving a Beamer, right? Yeah, exactly. So the same thing with electric cars. Now they're gonna have, let's say, they're gonna come out with three series electric. So it's gonna be called the three series. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. Three forty. Let's just give an example. And this one has five hundred. My uh, kilometer range. probably it's gonna be or something. Yeah, and this one has a, t- a four, five hundred mile range. Then you're gonna be like, huh? Okay, this one's a thousand bucks. Let's say right a month. Le- I'm using lease payments. Yeah. Then they're gonna say, okay, now let's come out with a three thirty, but this one only does three hundred mile range. Uh, okay, smaller battery range. And now they could justify, but still charging you less. It's just marketing. Yeah, of course, but the same way it is now. Yeah. How but, come me, you, but, whoever else we know don't want to buy a three thirty? We want to buy 340s. Yeah. Why? Because of the engine. Exactly. But technically, we'd but be like, okay with the 330. But we're just too stubborn to... Because we just want that. Yeah, yeah we want the power, we want the noise. Because more, you get twin turbo engine. And it's the same thing that's going to be electric cars. I yeah, but you're just getting a range more. You're not getting more horsepower. You're not getting a different car. 
a three thirty, a three forty, and a three twenty. Is a big difference, but it might be more powerful in a straight line. Let's say, yeah, okay, but it looks the more same. Torque. It's the same, uh, like a three forty had the, the side skirts, had the mags, had the this. They'll, they'll had do the, the black. same thing for this. What stops him from putting bigger wheels on the car and putting side skirts? Nothing. The electric motor. No, they're yeah, just, they're just gonna make it a faster. It'll be slower car. after. Well, let's say they have to make the engine fast. Oh my god! Don't make it fast. It's, you know, it'll be it's the, just gonna be computers, right? It's it'll be the master. exact same marketing thing they do now. It yeah. just that instead of promoting gas, uh, instead of promoting horsepower. They're gonna promote kilometers and I guess EV the, power or thrust or whatever you want to say. Yeah, stuff, yeah, that time exactly. Okay. And that's Joe's rant on electric car. <laughs> oh man, I'm not into this. Shit. I hope I didn't lose anybody. <laughs> I'm not into this shit. Did you hear? Uh, we might lose F1. We might. It's still not. It's not confirmed 100. Nothing is confirmed yet. But, but Montreal we'll is see. in the pits for not. Uh, for not getting F1 this year. It's not confirmed that it's cancelled. It's not. It might be cancelled. If it is, we're going to have but a more detailed episode. But we got news this week that... Uh, By the way, it might be the EQS, you could charge it in 31 minutes. Full? No, you get uh, 80? Um, 300 kilometers. Oh, okay. Oh, That's not bad. But you have to have a Mercedes? Uh, fast charger, I don't know. It says DC fast charger. Okay. I'm oh, sure no, the direct right current fast charger. It's anything... Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. like a phone. Yeah, exactly. Same thing, yeah. So they have them, the fast chargers at the Clean Car 4. Or the Tesla ones. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, F1 talk. Uh, today there was F1. Yeah. Joe came. Insane race. I walk in. And who, and who starts to who pick up? Who gets second place? Before Giovanni comes. Okay. <laughs> before Giovanni comes, Lewis Hamilton's an eight. He's an eight. I'm watching. I'm watching. I hear I hear him park. I hear everything. Oh, I look back. He's in second. Takes about, what? I don't know. Five <laughs> minutes, this guy? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So, anyways, yeah, crazy race today, guys. If you guys didn't watch it, rewatch that race. Next time I'm coming to this thing and I'm wearing a Patronus uh, there you go. F1 yeah. thing, it's gonna be first place. Check I have out. nothing of Ferrari. I'm, oh, place, I might. I'm placing bets right now. What? He's gonna be first. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in with the Verstappen, Patronus gear man. and he's gonna be first place. Verstappen, Verstappen, <laughs> Verstappen. So yeah. Yo, they're very close, eh? For the yeah, driver's yeah, yeah. champion. Uh, he's one point away. One point away. Yeah. One point away. So Verstappen was first. Hamilton second. Yeah. Lando third. Yeah. Ferrari fourth. Leclerc, Leclerc. fifth. Sainz. Yeah. Which was a crazy race. Honestly, crazy race. Super cool. Hamilton's just a beast. That car's a beast. Yeah, He's a beast. Insane. When they open DRS, it looks like he has like 300 horsepower more than everybody else. It's like a else. nitrous shot. It, it looks like more than nitrous. It looks yeah. like, you know, turbo in a game. Like, yeah. you play, yeah. <laughs> just you know, he overtakes. opens it and you just see the gap was like this and just... He passed him. And boom. And like less gone. than a second. Like two seconds, he passed him. Oh, man, and I like a crazy overtake, eh? Th think, think of like the guys that they, they just can't do nothing. They can't do anything. They're on a straightaway and the car is just... Yeah, <laughs> you're like you're trying to go straight. You're like, uh, you're, <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You can't do anything. Honestly, they're like, team. okay. You just wave like, okay. Which thanks. is why he's an eight-time champion or whatever, seven-time eight, whatever he is. They make a good car, man. Insane. But talking about F1, Joe, what do we have with uh, F1 with our sponsors? So I was just saying before. I'm gonna come in next week with the Patronus gear. So I'm placed bet that. Are they racing next first. week? I don't know if they're racing next week. Oh, the this. week after, whatever yeah. it is. Uh, if you guys are into betting, sport betting, whatever it may be, yep. uh, we did team up with a uh, with a betting site. Uh, the link is sia.com slash fuel up. Oh, I'll put the link at the bottom here. Uh, you can bet on any sports, uh, soccer, football, hockey. Uh, for us, Anything. F1 is the one we... We were pushing, yeah. Yeah, we're pushing. We, we, we aim car, to... Uh, yeah. To get the betting started on, you could have done it on March Madness. It has everything, guys. Yeah, every Literally, single thing if you, possible. If you like to do this stuff, boxing. I'm, I, I'm not good at last this. Last night there was a boxing. Yeah, uh, talking thing. about that, there was boxing, UFC. There's everything. There's, I'm not big on these things, so I don't know what odds are and all that yeah. stuff. I'm so bad with that stuff. So the like, website does it for you. The website does everything, and they'll for you. match your um, first. What is it? Your first initial bet up to two hundred dollars. So if you put hundred bucks, they'll match hundred. Put two hundred, they'll yeah. match two hundred. Yeah. You put fifty, they'll match fifty. Whatever it may be. So again, the link is sia.com slash the fuel up. I'll put it here Guys, at the bottom. Like last night with the fights, you could have put $200, get $400, yep. bet on no one fight. You could have made 1000 bucks and ciao. That's all it takes. So sia.com slash yep. fuel up. Check it out. Check it out. And uh, yeah, there was also, what else did you want? You had one other topic. Yeah, so speaking before we talk about the electric cars we we're mentioning that the electric cars might not have a crazy used market anymore that's it that's what we wanted to get into yeah so um if if anybody's like looking now or whatever or in the business you'll notice that 
used cars is everything is going crazy, is crazy. first of all because of covid and yes everything. exactly now so before like you mentioned them. that the tires were hard to get and like everything's backed up so it's the thing it's the same thing for cars oh it's hard to get brand new cars it's hard to order them everything's delayed and then people are spending less money on other things so what are they doing buying they're buying cars. cars or they're buying things that they could actually do so for example drive on the weekends convertibles or whatever it may be so this is what's happening with the used car market so cars that were going for like forty thousand bucks maybe a year and a half ago are going for like forty five fifty thousand bucks now you know and so it's kind of screwing up the whole freaking it is market. screwing up the thing it's screwing up the market it's screwing up buyers it's, it's well it's not especially that it's screwing up sellers it's like you're is, saying if you were looking last year let's say for a summer car and you were yeah. you found them at let's say like you said 40 now this year you're checking it's 50. Well, yeah you don't know you're not gonna buy it you're gonna say well, some I'll people wait will it's over yeah. you know what i mean some people say hey, will it be over yeah for sure it'll and I'm saying, I'm saying that's when we come in, we soup everything. <laughs> no, I'm not, that's what I'm saying. Like it's gonna be over. I don't think it's gonna crash or anything like that. But I think you know, it might settle back down a little bit. It should. Why wouldn't it? Doesn't make sense. Some cars are going for like ridiculous amounts. And I'm like, what? Like a Fox body, sixteen thousand dollars a Fox body, and it was clean. Yeah, but sixteen thousand one. That's why we're like ten. What four or five years ago, a clean, clean one was eight to ten. Yeah, eight to ten. That's it's worth, it's worth about ten. One like mine that I had, that the paint was clean and it had to do some uh, interior work. Right, the interior was the only thing yeah. I had to do. And the motor, whatever, clean it up if you want to clean it up. Six thousand. Yeah. And that's because that's it. You had to have a super clean one. It had to be LX. Had to be clean numbers matching. Yeah. Then, then it would be ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I had numbers matching and everything, but it wasn't clean. I knew there was work to be done. Mm-hmm. Six thousand. Now they're like ten thousand is like a shitty one. Uh, it's crazy. I, I, know, I, I understand the car gets older too, right? They start to gain their value. They appreciate it a little bit, yeah. Damn. It's crazy. If like you want to sell, it's now's the time to sell. Like he would, he's looking at like he's looking. We're looking at Mustangs. Like I've always looked at Mustangs because if there was ever one that was for a good price, we'll just snag one and have fun for the summer. But it's not getting good price. This year, first of all, there's no GTs. It's like they're all sold, and people just keep holding on Hold to them. them. Yep. And there's only GT500. I guess people have them parked there, and now they're like, or they're not working, or they're not doing this, and they're like, you know what? I gotta get rid of this gotta, car because yeah. it's expensive. It's a, it's it's a, a monster. Expensive. 50k, yeah. right? Usually 40 to 50k. The good ones, the clean ones, yeah. But now it's like you're looking at uh, like where Joe checks, he checks the auctions and stuff like that, and they're already going for 40 to 50k. It's like what the hell? Yeah. Or like a, I find the only, you know what's car that didn't like 335s, 340s, they stayed like around that 25, 30k. What do you want them? <laughs> Why? They're good cars. <laughs> They're good cars, though. I love that good, car, yeah, man. I, I do love them. They I actually drive like very well. Like any day. Manual. They drive very well. What are you going to get that's manual today? I was speaking to Andy. Shout out to Damn, Andy. Shout out to Andy. Friday man. night. Uh, no, Thursday night. I was texting him like late now. Like, I was looking at the uh, at Auto Trader and all kinds of stuff. And I was asking him about um, his thoughts on cars, right? Because I'm, I'm looking like I want to switch, you know? I'm looking for something new. Not new, but just switch it up, you know, whatever. And and we're talking, you know, we're going back and forth, and he's like, the car you, the cars you're looking for, like you'll never find them at like a deal price, you know? Yeah. I know. He's like everything is going for stupid money, and I'm, yeah. And I'm and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I'm it's like, not normal. Fuck, man, he's right, the guy. Like it's insane. It's not normal. It's, not normal. it's like I have a number in my head, and I'm very persistent about keeping Me that too. number. But then I'm looking at like uh, what I want, and I'm like, fuck, it's like it's more than it's 10, 15 more than what yeah. I. Th- then what Which I know it's worth. Yeah. yeah, you know? Well, you're in like the same pickle as I was like two, three weeks ago. If you guys watched the podcast, yeah, I, we was like, I was like, I was saying it. I was like, man, it doesn't make sense. The price is whatever. There's yeah. nothing I can, I can't find anything. So I like, get, I almost Stop. give up on it because it's too stupid to spend that much money for 10 more than 15 more than what you're. And the reason why I got rid of my car is because I don't drive. Don't drive, you know? yeah. So there's no point. For what? You're going to hold it and the next year it's going to drop the 10K? And you lost it. That's not worth it. If you like, like you said, like I said, like Andy said, if you find a good deal, yeah, if you find the jump deal, on it, it, yeah, exactly, and then no you deal, hold it and maybe it. get rid of it a bit, like in the same year, because it's still gonna be, you know, it's not gonna it's change fine, this yeah. year. It's gonna be next year. It's gonna drop. Yeah. Then okay, but it's like hard. like Giovanni just said, there's no deals. There's it's hard. no deals. It's hard. It's hard. There was an actually funny, funny story. Joe's looking at the used car market. We gotta close this up soon. Um, he sends me an S4. I look at it. It was my car. I knew. Off the oh, first yeah, that picture, was great. It was my car. He goes, I go, bro, that's my car. He goes, laugh my ass. I have no chance. Telling you that's my car. I didn't even open <laughs> the pictures yet. I knew it was my car. Off the front grill, the drop. 
and those wheels. No one has those wheels. No one had those wheels in that car. No one had those wheels. It was my winter wheels. I know mm-hmm. those were my winter wheels. That's the original kid you sold the car with. Yeah, because I had roadie for him. I yeah. didn't want to sell those. I sold those uh, apart. But then I check inside. And I start seeing, well, I start checking the pictures and then I start seeing things that I know. That you remember in the car. Then I'm like, Joe, check the steering wheel. I wrapped the chrome around the Audi logo black mm-hmm. because it had a little scratch and it was bothering me so much. <laughs> so I wrapped it around black. So I'm like, that is definitely my car. Then after, there was one, other, uh, then after I'm like, let me check this mirror because I know my mirror had yeah, a the scratch. scratch and it, the the tempo. Remember when yeah. the tempo broke? Yeah. And then he sends me a picture, right? when I'm looking for. He sends <laughs> me a picture scratch. from the auction <laughs> with the scratch. With the scratch on we the trim. The I'm like, I told you it was my car. <laughs> Bit sketch this car, though. It's like it's I heard from it. people yeah. that it's the engine's <laughs> been swapped. And then after Joe's checking, and it was in Ontario, and then yeah. it came back. And, and it's had telling a, me that it's the original motor, that there was nothing touched to it. Like The car like, left your possession when? 15? No, 16? When 17. I started working at Maggot. 17. 16, 17. 18. 17, yeah. 18 around. I think it was, no, because it was December, so it was like 16. Okay, December, between so, yeah. 16 to now, that car proof has to be the sketchiest car proof I've ever seen on Before a car. Before that, it was knowing Audi dealership, yeah, and that's and then, it. The, and then, that's then it jumps it. like then Ontario it was back because to I had Quebec, the car. to Ontario, back to Quebec, and now it's being sold in Ontario. Mm. And going off what you told me, that the car apparently had a blown engine in it, or it was swapped, or whatever, it was tuned, and the guy blew the engine. Yeah. And the car is sitting in a dealership with not that much mileage. Not much more than what I sold it with. Not more than what you yeah. sold it with. You're like... That's what twenty k more. Uh, no, it has. A, it had a hundred and almost hundred and twenty. You you sold it with what seven eighty? Yeah, it was eighty. Yeah. Eighty five so, around. Okay, so it has about yeah. forty more. It's like the guy didn't put much kilometers on it. In like what years. I would have done. What I would have yeah, done. Because I don't put years. a lot of yeah. kilometers, which is possible. But what I've heard of it, I don't know, man. I've heard twenty things. Then the wing is gone. All the badges are gone because they removed the wrap. I want to see the paint in person because I'm sure the paint is a bit. Because when the wrap, yeah. and it was, I don't know, man. Anyway, the interior looked okay, though. Interior, there was nothing wrong with it, yeah. man. I kept it mint, and it was manual, and it was manual. But would you buy it? No. <laughs> you wouldn't want it back. I love that car. Yeah, but I know there's something sketchy. When you see Ontario, Quebec, it's because they, they're back able to, nah, to. I don't to, know. They're able to hide a lot of things. When it goes from Ontario to Quebec, you don't have to, like the car proof. Sometimes doesn't even follow. There's a lot of that well, happening. When you bring the car to a shop, the guy doesn't have to punch it in. Like, he doesn't have to report it. That's people have, like, a big misconception on yeah, car I proofs. Know. If you bring it to an independent shop or even a dealership, they don't have to punch in the uh, no. the info on the car proof. No. They don't have. So, like, when you see a car that has no car proof at all, it doesn't mean that the car wasn't That's maintained. Fine. I'd rather no car proof. No, if I'm everything looks. If meaning everything that like like maintenance history, they don't have to oh, punch it in. My car didn't have maintenance history. None but, of my cars had maintenance history. But I'm saying like they don't they don't have to punch them in, right? So it's a big misconception. People say, I'm oh, like, the car looks sketch because it doesn't have anything I don't on find, it. You no. know, the car looks sketch when it's a bit looks weird. Like, you know, it's a bit ruined and uh, it looks like it has le- uh, you know it looks. Works out looking sketch is. There Ontario, is Ontario, Toronto, back and forth. Yes, is the most and there day. is odometer readings of like 80k, and then the cars are 117, but the 80k was like in 2017. And you're like. Uh, and you know the car left with an X amount of miles when you, so, uh, yeah, when you yeah, sold it. it. Like that's where we become sketch, you know. It's. Uh, but yeah. Exhaust, so we found it. The exhaust was changed. <laughs> See that? Uh, it's not my tips. No. It's not the, the angled well, tips. It was hanging when you sold it. Or when, uh, it when never, we saw it, it never hung. Yeah, when we it's, saw it driving. It's, how, it's how they stay. It's how it's how they are. When you kick them, they move a lot. When you hit a bump, it, they. Oh yeah. Yeah, my it was always like that. It used to piss me off. I don't know if the hanger was too heavy for the exhaust. You know what I mean? Anyway, Maybe. whatever it is, he found my old car and I was like, mm. we're not buying it. No, no, no chance. No chance. It was too sketch. The guy wrote, it was automatic. It's a manual. Like, yeah, it was, like what is this? The, the ad was weird. The ad was disgusting. Yeah, the ad was weird. Didn't uh, fully equipped. Doesn't say anything else. That's what the it. options. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't say and the car. That, and the both cars. load of options. Yeah, exactly. Every single option possible. You just sell the car by writing sport. Diff. Yeah, exactly. Idiot. And you get more money. Idiot. He probably doesn't even know it as a sport yeah, diff. He probably, he probably doesn't even know. That's what pisses me off. Yeah. That they don't know and I took <laughs> such good care of that car. Now, you see, okay, talking, and then the same day, I get a text from where I used to work. Mm-hmm. Did, I, did I speak about this on the no. last one? So I get a text about this where I used to work. Sends me a car, my old, my S3. Oh, you told me this, told me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we talk about it on the podcast? No. So they sent me um, a text. picture of my old S3, but it's in mint condition. It's exactly how I left it. Okay, it's only four months, well, three yeah. months. But... The kid Man, takes care of it, yeah. put new wheels on it, makes me happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I know that it was taken care of. 
when that when someone told me that my engine was blown from my S4, my heart went sunk. Oh my yeah. god, I took such good and care of that. It's weird that they blew an engine, man. Those motors are actually bulletproof. Yeah. For the most part, well, anyways. Apparently, this is what I was told from the guy that bought it off Audi Lozon, mm -hmm. my car. He told me that he sold it to a rich guy, that this was his winter beater. He stage twoed it, put the belt, uh, put the, the smaller belt, pulleys, whatever, and he was driving it up north and full pinning it all the time. It was his winter beater. And that's his summer car was like a Lambo or something, and that was his winter beater. So he probably just didn't give a shit. He probably ripped it all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And engines, those engines are amazing, but if you rip it all the time. Yeah, they're going to, like any other engine, right? Yep. If it was be the shit of it, it's going to blow. Yep, yep, yep. So, guys. Episode... 39. 39. We actually have a lot of topics today. I'm yeah, actually happy about this. We're supposed I'm happy. to go I'm 30 happy. minutes. We're trying to keep it 30 minutes for a 40 minute niche. It's okay. It's okay. But it's we okay. Gotta it's okay. Do, we okay. got to do what we got to do. But like we'll Joe said, guys, <laughs> those car faxes, don't get, uh, don't get too excited. Because if I was a guy, think of me. I'd buy an R7, let's say. Yeah. Brand new. Okay, I had the money to buy an R7 brand new. Still not do my own changes at all. Yeah, you never go to the dealer. I'm not going to go to I'm going to go to a crazy freaking shop. shop I'll go to yeah. Vag. I'll go to like, uh, I don't know, uh, toys, you know? Yeah. And I'll get liquid Molly put inside instead of their, their straight out of the pump doesn't mean that it's not taken care of yeah it's when you see that it was there then it wasn't there then it uh, went there provinces then and Toronto, stuff yep. then it's in china yep. then it's yep. back yep stay away guys stay away stay away no matter how good the deal seems stay away <laughs> trust me it's, it was my old car and i'm staying away so imagine that's some knowledge dropped by mass yeah that's all to say that was my rant and i'm pissed <laughs> off that you blew my engine the car looks like shit my s3 i love you because you took care of it thank you i appreciate it <laughs> i appreciate you're a good guy <laughs> and you put wheels on it <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on the Fuel of Podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Gio. I'm Mass. That's Mass. Episode 39. We're out. Thanks, guys. guys.